Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Subnautica. It's episode 7 of our Blind Subnautica playthrough. It's a cold, wintry day here in Indiana where I live. So I have a jacket on, but it's nice and... It looks nice and warm here in Subnautica land. Uh, whatever the name of this planet. 464... 8675309. Uh, in the last episode, we, in, we added the ability to dive deeper with the high capacity O2 tank. We also got our first death of the playthrough out of the way. Rest in pieces to our past self. Uh, but between this high capacity O2 tank, my Sea Glide, which has 6% charge, that's definitely not gonna come back to bite me in the ass, and my, uh, my desperate need to scan things and uh, find uh, silver. I think it's silver that I need. Sandstone anyways. I think it's time to go deep. I think it's time to go real deep. Uh, I really hope that my... We're gonna, we're just gonna hope and pray that this thing doesn't run out of power uh, actively while we are in the middle of using it. Uh, while we are relying on it to take us to the surface. That's my goal. We'll see. What's the button we uh, hit to? F6. Okay. Apparently when I reload the game, I need to hit that again. Uh, all right. So I think we just do it. Yeah? Let's go. Should be somewhere like straight down here somewhere. Is this cave? Where is the cave again? Somehow I've lost the cave. All right, well. Uh, oh, that's one of those, sh those shark guys we found earlier. Uh, we scanned you last time. What are you? Oh, you're a piece of a ship. A sea moth fragment. Oh, shit. Something is making a scary noise. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, okay. All right. Scan the sea moth fragment. 67%. Let's freaking go. Nice. There's the guy. There's the guy. Okay, so from there, we want to go deep. I guess we could even go right here. Let's get some oxygen and we'll go down there. Oh, hi, buddy. All right. I'm really nervous that this sea glide is going to run out of power. And I probably should be smarter about this. Uh, but it's okay. You never, you know, I, I, I've died once in this game now. And uh, I've sort of come to terms with my own mortality, right? He says. There's in no way, shape, or form have I, have I come to terms with my own mortality. Oh my god. That's deep. What are you? A biter? Uh, you, you bite. Of course you, of course you do. Of course that's what you do. Can I scan you, please? I just want to scan you. I don't want to get bit by you. I just want to scan you. I'm running out of oxygen. Where, where did you go? There you are. Stay still. No! You little shit! I have plenty of health. I have plenty of health. Don't be scared to die. Don't be scared to die. Death comes for us all in the long run. Okay. Uh, done. Integrating new PDA data. Music is happening. Anything else I can scan while I'm here? No? No? Okay. Uh, well, I guess we go to the service then. I mean, I still have oxygen, honestly. What? Oh, I got shocked. Oh, no. What's happening? Run. Just go. Just go. I think I got shocked. Ah! Okay, that could have gone a lot better. That could have gone a lot better. Okay, we're practicing this thing. Oh. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to try and describe what I'm seeing instead of just randomly. Oh, it's nighttime. If I and we have a radio message. If I click it once, it starts inhaling. So I I have to leave it. And if I click it again, it expels all that water. All right, so we got to go home. <laughs> Uh, where's home? Home is this way. We need to go home so we can listen to the radio message. Uh, our first deep dive today, not terribly successful. We learned one thing on the PDA, maybe two things. I'll take a look at that later, but, um, that's okay. We gave it a good try. We conquered a little bit of fear. We'll go back for, for more of that later. I also found a little bit of lead, but no, uh, exchange power source. I don't have an extra. Okay. Well, oh, Lordy. 
<laughs> we figured it out. Thank God we're only 200 meters from here when we figured it out. We have to craft a battery, which I remember seeing on the list of craftables. That's good. The fabricate one. And then we can exchange them. I wonder what I do with my old battery. Can I plug it into the wall? Because this thing had a solar, you know, a solar, uh, and it had power cells. So, hmm, hmm, nope. Nope. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll just need to make a battery. Let's just play this for now. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent <gasps> you the what? coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our what? orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay, time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Where is it? Where is it? What? Uh, I had given up all hope of... Wait, where? You're coming to get me? Wait, I thought that said that you were... Uh, let's play it again. We've sent you the coordinates. We've sent you the coordinates. I don't have coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. Uh, weather holds? We have a landing site for you that's better than the alternatives, aka okay, not great. What? <laughs> what does this mean? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, uh, I guess I'm just gonna read this stuff really quickly. We're gonna try and make a battery right after that, because I think we may need to travel long distances, and I'm gonna try and figure out where the fuck I'm going. Pardon my French. Uh, is it here? No. Specimen with symptoms of infection. This organism is displaying signs of a bacterial infection. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Is this me? Am I the drama? Am I the person with this bacterial infection? Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. No. Bacterium, it's... Oh, it's bad. Bacterium itself is unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. Maybe contagious. Avoid... Do not, under any circumstances, consume the flesh. What did I scan to get that? A biter? Vicious pack hunting predator. 94% muscle, 4% connective tissue, 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry. Almost always hungry. <laughs> Specialized olfactory antenna. So smell. Employed in detection of bodily fluids in the water at impressive range. Secondary pair of eyes for peripheral movement. Overdeveloped tail fin. Yeah. That makes it look like a minnow, actually. Favors outpacing and outnumbering their prey over individual man maneuverability. Calculations suggest creatures up to 100 times the biter's body weight could succumb to a focused assault by a pack of 10. Avoid packs and try not to bleed. All right. Uh, we got to drink water. We need to make some food. And then we have to find a battery. 37 minutes. I hate having this timer. I absolutely hate having this timer here because now I'm freaking out. Uh, what does it take to make a battery? Power cell. Ba oh, shit. Battery. Acid mushrooms and copper. Music to my fucking ears. I have so many acid mushrooms. Fuck it. Let's make two. Um, battery. Done. Easiest. Easiest. Uh... So does one... Here's the next question. Does one battery... Uh, yeah. Okay. So do I have a used battery in my charge 0%? Is there a way to charge battery? No? Okay. I'm going to put the used battery in here. Uh, I'm going to take out a peeper. And I'm going to eat said peeper. I'm going to, I'm going to cook said peeper and eat it. And then that should basically do us for food for now. Um, cooked peeper. Consume. We could actually do another one, but. Um, I don't think I have another one, unfortunately. I do not. 
So where the fuck am I supposed to go for this coordinate? Oh, man. Sunbeam landing spot. Uh, a thousand meters away. A thousand meters? That's not that bad. We have to be there so early. Oh, man, it's not going to be during this episode either. We're going to be... At the end of this episode, I think we will disembark... Uh, we'll, we'll head that direction. Why are there clouds over there? It said, hopefully weather will... Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I had no hope! God damn it. I had no hope. Why is that cloud getting bigger? I was the kind of person who was like, we're not getting rescued. It's not going to work. And then they were like, we're coming for you. And here specifically is where we're going to get you. And now we have this. Why is there a cloud? I hate it. Okay. Um, what can we do today? What, what do we absolutely need to do today? So I think a couple things. Uh... I think I'm probably getting infected at least partially via my water. We should pull off a self-scan first. So I'm getting more nervous about the about the scanning. <laughs> getting more nervous about the scanning for sure. We're infected. Great. Love that. Um, it said that already though. So we still need this uh, radiation suit, which takes fiber mesh, but I don't know how to make fiber mesh. Hmm. And bleach takes a coral tube sample. Hmm. I know where coral tubes are. I guess let's take a look at a coral tube. I mean, they're right here, right? Here's my next question. If I hit this with my knife... Wait, that worked. Haha! <laughs> I did not expect that to work. Okay. Uh, all right. Time to do a little bit of science before we uh, before we work on getting out of here today. I could just go to the like spot and then hang out for a while, but I really don't know that that's uh, best use of my time. We make some bleach, meaning we can make a sure sure Altera. Uh, meaning we can then make a. Uh, a better water. Disinfected water. It says that all it takes is bleach? But it has to also take water, right? We have two filtered waters in our inventory. Or does it just like, they just assume you take water from... The day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. So here, here's the question I'm asking. Does it consume our filtered water? It does not. One bleach makes two disinfected water, though. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess we'll consume our filtered water for now, and then we're never doing it again. Um, that's great. It's just, it, it's assuming it's taking water from outside, bleaching it, and then... Okay. Honestly, great. Uh, so we need a couple peepers. A couple peepers. Uh, more coral samples would not be a bad thing. So let's maybe let's maybe work on getting uh, getting both of those. At this point, I don't even need bladderfish anymore. I'm like kind of watching to make sure I'm not like killing the coral tube. I don't imagine. Like, it's absolutely huge. I don't imagine I would necessarily... It's coral It's coral and salt, right? I don't imagine I could actually harm this thing. But I don't know. Maybe. Alright, so we need, now need peepers. Uh, let's catch... Maybe five peepers is a good goal, I think? Come here, you boys are fast. You boys are real fast. Come here. Catch five peepers. Uh, then all of a sudden, you know, we got a little bit of food. I just, I can't allow myself to believe that I'm actually going to get rescued. I'm going to do my be my best to uh, to make it, but I think this is the fifth one. Come here. But there's no, I have to keep like planning as if I, I am going to need to survive here because I just don't believe that. I mean, 
the game would be over too quickly, obviously. And also, like, no part of uh, that message that we started with that said... <laughs> uh, that said rescue is unlikely made me believe that we would actually get rescued. So, where is my home again? Right here. I was swimming the wrong way. Um, all right. But I kind of think like if we leave right at the end of this episode, that would be a good, uh, that would be a good time to do it. Uh, let's make one cooked peeper. And then let's make some body wants. Sorry. Um, let's make some pe uh, bleach if we can. Uh, all right. So get rid of consume you. Beautiful. Get rid of all of you. Now, I do have salt deposits here. And with the coral sample that I have, I should be able to make enough. Uh, bleach to hold me over for a long time. So, okay. Our, our system's getting better. Our system's getting better. Hmm. We're still, like, highly lacking iron, though. Or, uh, sorry, silver, though. And silver is, like, the wiring and the... Etc. So... Computer chip and... Ooh, we should keep an eye out for table coral. I can make a multi-purpose CPU right now if I need one, actually. I just need to find table coral. Hmm, okay. Um, that's what it is to make a wiring kit, right? Yeah, just two silver. Shit, okay. Oh, sorry, we should turn this bleach into, uh, into disinfected water. So right now we're just like... Today is our day to like, it's like Sunday, you know, before a work week, right? You're just like, you're meal prepping, you know, you're making sure the laundry's good. You got clean clothes for the week. You got meal prepped in a Tupperware in the, in the fridge. Um, oh my God, we have no storage space. I should have thought of this <laughs> shit. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's see here. What do I do? You know what? These eggs? This feels like the wrong thing to be doing when we're just waiting to get started. Uh, waiting to get started for... Waiting to get rescued. But, uh, we can put all this in our outdoor storage. So, in oh my god, our outdoor storage is full shit. Uh-oh. Uh. All right, we got to make some more storage lockers. What does that take? Personal tools. Is it here? Equipment. Is it a deployable? Waterproof locker takes four titanium. Somehow, in all of the shit that I have in my inventory, I don't have four titanium. Uh, Alright, let's, ch <laughs> let's chuck the rest of our water in there. Now we have enough space to make metal salvage. Oh, lord. Alright, uh, make some titanium. We should probably make, if we can, two of these lockers. Because we're probably going to continue to have this problem. Beautiful. Alright. We're getting there. The, so the the basics are getting figured out. I, that's a good thing, considering we're on episode 7. But the, the basics are getting figured out. Uh, okay, so... Put you on 5. Deploy. Put you on five as well. Deploy. All right. Inside of you, we can throw uh, all of the shit we don't need. Like creatures, eggs for sure. Um, what else don't we need? Oh, we still have a nutrient block. 
Uh, okay, so how do we want to do this? We should figure out an organization system. A full-ass organization system. So, let's see what's in you. Uh, let's take out... These are all useful things, I would say. Floaters are not useful. And metal salvage... I think inside I want to put all of our infected, disinfected water and our food. So I think outside here, we will keep our building block items. So I'm thinking quartz, copper, ti titanium, uh, all of these. I'm going to keep my silver on me just because that seems useful to me. I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to come up with a second one. That's all I need is one more silver ore. Uh, okay. The metal salvage I can turn into... So that's our good one, I think, right? That's our good one. Good, good, good stuff. This one is our... our shit one. <laughs> Let's put our floaters in here. I don't think that they have any use yet. Maybe they do, but if they do, I don't know what it is. Uh... And then let's go miscellaneous for the last one? For now? I think we can write on these things too, right? Edit locker name? Did I... Oh, yeah, I can type. Uh, so this one is useless smile. Uh, <laughs> wait, what's in this one again? This one is uh, misc. Melanius. So let's put cave sulfur in here. Let's put a metal salvage, I guess. Misc smile. If I keep putting smiley faces everywhere, maybe, you know, things... Maybe my life will turn around here. I don't know. Um, and then we'll call this one materials. Let's call it mats. I can't even see the top of it, but I don't know if I have enough space to... Great, I still can't see it. Alright. Let's get in here. 23 minutes. 23 minutes. Voice log. Preparing the day's... Oh yeah, we already read that. Alright. No more messages. Uh, I'm starting to get really nervous that I'm leaving this far too close. To, So let's take some stuff uh, on a trip with me. Let's take two peepers. Uh, we have lots of water. We should just consume one of those. We have two med kits, which seems good. Um, is there anything else we should take with us? We have two batteries. Uh, is there anything else that I need to make in the meantime? Don't really know. Um, sorry, I'm just I'm going through and I'm hotkeying stuff. I want the survival knife on one. I should probably put the sea glide on three. That's what I've been using it for so far. Scanner on two. I I think I'm doing that right. Okay. Um. Is there anything else I should do today? Uh, I don't know. We should cook both these peepers, probably. I'll eat one very quickly, and the other one, uh, I'm honestly just going to keep with me. Let's cure it. Sure. We haven't cured stuff. Really? Yet? The, the, the peeper gives negative 2 H2O, but otherwise keeps all of its food. Oh, shit. Very interesting. Uh, this one I think we can go ahead and consume. 109. Beautiful. Alright. We're off to we're off to find a wizard. I don't have any of the shit that I wish that I had, like fiber mesh. Um, you know? But, a compass? <laughs> but, uh, I think it might just sort of be time to go. You know? I also have plenty of inventory space. Is it nighttime? Hmm, it's just about to be nighttime. Is that a terrible time to set out? I think that's a terrible time to set out. Oh no. Hmm. Uh. It's a thousand meters. I go pretty quickly a thousand meters. I still think we have enough time. We have enough time. So what I'm going to do instead, this is a thing I debated doing today. Uh, I have, a, I have a, a post-it note here. I'm going to actually take notes on the things that I desperately need. I need two fiber mesh, one lead, because I already have one lead, in order to make, make a radiation suit, which is like 
top of the priority for me. Uh, a rebreather, which is, we'll take one more fiber mesh, uh, and a wiring kit, which I need two of. And wiring kits are the things that take two silver, right? They take two silver. So I need three more silver ore. All right. So I sort of have a very vague note that I'm going to keep. This is for like future episodes and stuff too. So I can keep track of what I'm looking for. Um, all right. Well, I mean, I guess I know it's nighttime, but like, I guess I have a light on this thing. I can look for some of this shit while I'm here. Oh, that's just the gaze of pods. Okay. The other thing I don't have yet, though, is the uh, the Seamoth Fragment. I have one more Seamoth Fragment as well. Um, that I don't have. So, Coral Shell Plate. What happens if I hit you with uh, this? Nothing. Okay. We're going to test out hitting a bunch of shit with my knife. Seems like an okay use of my time. Things that are not... Things that are not giant scary uh, beasts. Are you scannable? What are you? Oh, you're a Gary fish. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. That's the like hoop fish, hoop fish right there. Have we scanned floaters? I think we have, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Have I scanned the, uh... Ooh, can I hit this? Creep find sample. <gasps> oh my god, let's go! Fiber mesh, it takes two. It takes two. Creep find, fuck you. You come with me. Ooh, you can actually remove it. Okay. Alright, I hope I didn't piss off a, uh... Stalker? Uh, I also need a table coral sample. Pick him, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. For, uh, for another, I don't remember what it was. Table coral sample for, like, some item? God, that timer is making me nervous in the upper right-hand corner. It's making me real nervous. Pathfinder tool? Wait a second, what? Deploys holographic pathfinder discs used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. So it's it's a, a breadcrumb trail and all it takes is two creep fine seed clusters, <laughs> some copper wire and some raw titanium. Our character is a absolute beast. Our character is a god. How? How do you do that? What does that mean? How is that possible? Uh, I think I have the fiber mesh now to make... Oh, I need one more lead, I think. To make this. Shit. Um, let's just double check that I don't have it in here. This was the one lead that I had. Uh, unless one of these had... I think it's this one, right? This is the... Yes! Yes! I can make a radiation suit! Holy shit! That's gotta be helpful. Whether or not I get rescued. That's gotta be helpful. Let's go! Oh, this is a big day. Oh, look, I got gloves on now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We got a new blueprint earlier, too. Which was uh, probably the Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Sweet. This is now decomposing, by the way. Creep vine sample. Can I make? Oh, I need one more creep vine. All right. Real quick, before the end of the episode, I'll do one more creep vine. I think it was towards the, uh, towards the, yep. Towards my orange thing. I'm definitely going to get attacked here. We should probably stay near the surface. Oh, it's so green. Oh my god, we got so many. Uh, we should have an uh, uh, an even number. One more. Beautiful. Go, go, go. 
And then we're going to have to call it an episode. Uh, yes. Good stuff today, though. Good stuff. I'm going to make all of this into fiber mesh. I could probably make something else out of it, but we also have more coral here. So that is going to do it for this episode. Holy cow. We made some prog progress today. And maybe more importantly, we have, uh, we have the promise of, of rescue on the horizon. Uh, let's just go ahead and deposit that. Incredible. 15 minutes left, which means I'm actually I'm actually going to be on the pause screen for the end of this episode because I don't want that timer going down. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, my Lord. I am sorry that you guys are going to have to wait 23 and a half hours for a new episode if you're watching this right as it comes out. If you're not, then you can just click the next episode in the, uh, in the playlist. But um, I'm sorry that you're going to have to wait 23 and a half hours. I'm going to go play another episode right now, but we'll keep these episodes coming every day. Um, if you enjoy any part of them, a like and a positive comment. There have been so many positive comments on these videos, which has made uh, my heart so happy. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for that. We will see you tomorrow with another episode. Bye-bye.